That little porch where we sat in springtime Making chords that felt very nice The soft play of the new leaf shadows You know I love this heady kind of sight How you play, oh it tease me while I'm resting How you laugh when you see us succeeding How you look when you're taking in a new day Mean I know these little things are like Colors in your eyes, you know I love this beautiful life. Beautiful cutthroat. Yeah, it looks like maybe a 10 incher. This guy go. First fish. Hey guys, uh, so last year when I was fishing this river, I found this antler. It was about that big. I actually had it on the video. Um, and if I can find that video, I'll, I'll show it to you right now. Found this. How cool is this? Just sitting on the beach. So what I might do is make a knife out of this. What do you guys think? 
Like this would be a sweet knife handle. I said I was gonna make a knife out of it and I did. So this is the knife. So the antler was like, I don't know, that long. I just cut it off and then uh, made this blade and put it on here. Um, you can see my little maker's mark right there, although it's upside down. <laughs> Um, turned out pretty cool. Um, now I just got to do a custom sheath for it. The sheath I have right now is kind of a standard one. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's kind of cool when you can repurpose stuff you find on the river. Okay hey guys, so I just uh, caught that one on this nymph I tied up. Um, let's see if you can see it very well. So I got some rubber legs on there, uh, some orange. I always like to get some orange on my flies, orange or red. Uh, that's the one that just caught that fish. Um, I got a Euro nymph here, um, heavy tungsten bead, so that gets down pretty deep. So that's what I got that fish on, um, another nice cutty. Beautiful water. Um, you know, I'll keep trying different stuff. Got one on a, a kind of a little muddler uh, minnow this morning, so I'll try that again too. Um, but anyway, yeah, hopefully I'll get some more for you. Whoa! Little feisty guy there. Well, it looks like we're getting kind of a bunch of these guys, small guys on the mayfly. I know there's bigger fish in here, but you know, what do you do? Comes right out. Yep, good little cutty. Let's get him back in the water. All right, we're gonna see if we can get one more. Well, I, uh, I guess right, I put on a mayfly and I got that last fish. Um, kind of see it right here. Yeah, so that, uh, that did it. So I'm gonna keep doing it. It's kind of getting that witching hour. Uh, it's uh, getting dark and I got some mayflies coming off. So I'm gonna keep trying it. All right, we gotta get something above 15. That's the goal. There we go. <laughs> that was fun, man. Nothing like dry fly fishing. This one looks like a rainbow. Nope, cutthroat. Right on the lip. So I uh, last night I tied up um 
couple of mayflies, some mayflies, a purple haze. Um, and I, I was just thinking, you know, there's going to be maybe another hatch and there really isn't, but I, uh, I tied on the ones I, I, well, I tied on the ones I tied last night and I just caught that one fish and, um, it just, there's not much like that is the same or equivalent as catching a fish on a fly that you literally just tied for that very purpose. So if you haven't started tying your own flies, I highly recommend, um, getting into that. And, um, it's just a really good feeling of, of getting something on, you know, a product that you created and, uh, seeing the, the, the mayflies last night and kind of matching that hatch and getting something on it, even though there's not really any mayflies coming off the water right now, um, the fish are obviously used to keying in on that. So I'm going to try again. Um, you know, it's kind of the witching hour right now. We'll give it, uh, maybe 10 or 15 minutes and I'll head back to the camp. All right. Wish me luck. So I got that little guy on a uh, on a nymph. Now this water is interesting. You can see you got the really fast current there, but the pocket, the good pocket's on the back side. So what I did there is when I cast out to that back side is I high sticked it. So keep the line off the current, right? And just keep mending it, keep mending it, and keep that uh, that strike indicator and the fly in that strike zone as for as long as you can. And sometimes it's long enough, like that one. You hit it right at the end. I was just getting ready to pull it in. So um, high sticking it, you know, because if that water catches your line, it's going to drag it right through. So you really got to keep it off that uh, that current. So just a little tip for you there. Yeah, he just hammered that thing. Came right out of the uh, deep water. There's a bigger one in there though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna release this, this guy and then I'm gonna try to get a different one. All right, so I got this uh, this nice little cutty, big deep hole. Um, came up and hit the uh, the rolled muddler. You kind of see it in his mouth right there. Um, yeah, they're just beautiful. Um, I had one come up earlier. He's in the water right now, super cold, so he's good. Um, one came up earlier and literally jumped out of the water for the rolled muddler, which was really cool to see and he was bigger So I'm gonna keep fishing this and see if I can get one. Stay tuned Like the river you go on. The parade. 